Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time for uh, another episode of Cities Skylines. Where we're running out of people. I'm just assuming that these buildings have to become abandoned sooner or later. Like, they have to run out of people to have in them. Thousand, okay, we've actually managed to make a thousand buildings. We've got to maintain it for five weeks, no problem. Assuming we don't actually run out of people then. At these tax rates, like... 13,000 people is enough to maintain the city and then some. Mostly because, you know, everything's on terrible shit budget. This is probably going to drive us to bankruptcy. But, you know, we'll make do. We'll make do. We're actually in the red. Okay. Uh, since we're now actually in the red, I'm going to take emergency measures. I dropped everything here to 50%. Uh, because, you know, why wouldn't I? Okay, we don't need more than 100 on anything. We're in extreme amounts of poverty right now. So we're going to slowly just uh, up everything here. Actually, no, we're just going to get electricity and water going. That's really the minimum requirements. With tax rates like this, I don't think anyone else should be moving in, so... It may not actually be a problem. I don't want to have my population fall any further. That's sort of the thing at this point. Let's see if we can hover this. Around what we have now. That can stay at 50%. That doesn't actually matter if it's at 50%. What, 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 what does that mean? Oh no, only 500,000? Oh, woe is me. Only 500,000 people can be supported by the education system. No, oh, it's still a million either way. Great. Let's go. Uh, we're hoping to reduce abandonment rates as the city's systems come back online. Why am I living in a depressing city? I don't know. Get out. Basically, what we've been aiming to do this whole time. drive people from their homes, and I eventually figured out a way to do it. Go figure. You know, all this shit is just costing me money at this point. That's actually good. Yeah, we want to keep all that. Okay. There. We don't have to maintain this for particularly long, thankfully. But we can do this. It's week two. Yes, I've noticed there are abandoned buildings like you. There are over 1,000 currently in my city. Of course I fucking noticed. Ugh. I just have to hope that my treasury endures. We're still bleeding, people. Like, I'm actually going to have to lower tax rates on, uh, you know, residences. Try and bring things under control here. Like, even if all the jobs are lost, that's at least something. It'll do. Okay, we're growing. People are happy. This is good. Okay, we're holding. We're holding steady. I think we'll be okay. Bad news is, treasury is failing miserably. Uh, but, we don't have to maintain this for too much longer, I don't think. We don't even have to maintain it anymore. Good. Alright, restore the city's economy. Restore everything. As emergency measures and as an attempt to get people to move back in. We're going to do that. I think I have way more than a thousand buildings abandoned at this point. This should drive growth. Very quickly. If I were to turn on the tax relief, while at 1%, would I be paying them money? Possibly. 
Either way, I'm probably just gonna do this for as long as the treasury can handle the damn this damn uh, stuff. Six hundred. Basically, as long as we can handle this, we've gotta we've gotta hold on with it. But we did just get the observatory. Go us. Question now is, was it worth it? Christ, I hope so. So we now have the fusion power plant, which means we need... I think we have everything for the fusion power plants. Oh yeah, right. We don't have the Plaza of the Dead thing. We're working on it. Working on that. City is growing. Uh, Treasury is still in huge deficit, and that's okay. City is in complete disrepair. I think I uh, dipped in too deep to uh, the negatives. Hold steady. The growth rate's alright at 590. The problem is I was hoping it would be higher. I was expecting more and more people to be coming in. 600, I suppose it's something. To be uh, at 600 a week. The question is, we can only maintain this for about 20 weeks. So, we're in trouble. We're only in about... Alright, I need to set average tax rate at least. At freaking least. Average taxes. We need to try and maintain this for a longer period of time. Any policy that decreases happiness can't be used. Handling. Income continues to soar. So does our growth rate as more and more buildings are being renovated. The problem is buildings are coming in and then having low land value issues because of so many abandoned buildings. Which makes me think seriously that I should just probably demolish everything and that will actually fix all of my problems. I need like a button that just destroys all abandoned buildings. Because there's no way I could demolish this all by hand. It would take way too long. You're having trouble with working water pipes? It's troubling. The whole fucking city should be hooked. Alright. Like, the whole city's hooked up so much I can actually just do this. And try and save some money. Like, I probably don't even need services this high. Okay, apparently not. city is renewing slowly. Up to 10,000 people. The question is, have I sunk myself? Have I sunk myself? Have I torpedoed my own boat? And the answer is maybe. I maybe have. Might have. Oh wait, I can do this. Increase the number of sales, reduce the number of industry stuff. Okay, that should uh, create a bigger demand for commercial and industry, which in turn creates a bigger demand for everything else, which in turn hopefully untorpedoes me. But unfortunately my demand bars haven't moved, but I'm still growing, so I think I'm okay. Minus 95,000, minus 94,000, minus 93,000.
Come on, grow faster. We need complete and total urban renewal. It's our only hope. Modern art, modern art museum required for the fusion power. Well, nothing else here needs to be constructed until we filled three cemeteries. Uh, which will probably take quite a while. Probably blow up all my crematoriums to make it faster, but still. I think that's just a waiting thing. But yeah, that would be three monuments we could get. Uh, there is... One monument, of course, that I talked about before we can't construct, that is the medical center. Is there any others that we really, like, physically can't do? Doesn't really look like it. Okay, space elevator, I guess not. So yeah, I'd have to figure out how to get public transport. Then we'll have four out of five monuments, which is the best we can get on this map, so I'll count it as a win. I will count it as a win. I moved to this, by the way. Oh, suddenly cutting all the sewage funding and only having, you know, less than 5,000 people suddenly caused all the sewage to recede. Gee, I can't imagine why. But hey, we're up. We're uh, growing pretty good. The city is slowly restoring back to its former glory. It'll be a long time. By God, we did it. Maybe. We still need to fill three cemeteries for the fusion power plant. <laughs> That's much like this is going to be a test of time more than anything else. Goodness. Abandoned. Alright. Yes, I, I'm sure. I'm sure I, uh, have noticed the abandoned buildings. Thank you, game. Uh-oh, growth rate's going down. Yeah, I need, like, a nuke that just takes out every abandoned building at once. Zoning stayed, right? Good. I don't know what the hell that was, uh, but I can. Let's just engage in renewal, one district forceful renewal, one district at a time. Although I would like to leave the uh, non abandoned building and, you know, maybe if I miss quick a few. I feel like that's the only way the land value is ever going to go up and get enough. That, uh, you know, the growth will continue. Right, they actually carry power, don't they? Oops. <laughs> oh well. Like, I just demolished a chunk of city and my income is still going up. That's how bad this situation is. Oh. I said I'm working on doing my best to uh, force an increase here, but... I don't know how much longer this can be maintained. power grid divided? Shouldn't be. I think I'm just complaining that this pole doesn't go. Oh, no, it's complaining that this guy here had no electricity. Right. Problem solved. Alright. Well, urban renewal continues. It's a 
slow process, but it is happening. Question is, will we go bankrupt? It's a very valid question. At least I think so. I didn't really demolish abandoned buildings before, but I see the need in doing so now. At least if the land value goes up a little bit. Is there anywhere I can shave off expenditures? Expenses. Expenses. That's the best I can do. Reduce that by 10,000. That I need to keep up because it helps the industry. Because we're coming down to the wire here because the uh, growth rate has slowed so much. Like, even more buildings are being abandoned still. Gotta save the city, damn it. Uh, throwing. Complain about tax rates. No. Good. No one's complaining about tax rates. Good, 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 good. Buck parks and recreation. Okay. Twenty six thousand. We're holding. We're not in the green yet. We've got to try and push for the green. As hard as possible. Question is, how long can we hold this? Hmm. We're in the airport. It's a waste. I can get the fusion power plant actually working. And I'll never need any of these power systems, but unfortunately, that still weighs out with the cemetery requirements. My budget's actually going down. Why? This number is increasing. Okay. Seems to be going correctly now. Garbage is... Really? Where the fuck can garbage be piling up? There's not only is there no traffic for any of our bajillion goddamn garbage trucks. Like, come on. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Growth rate is slowing still. It's looking bad. Gotta look for ways to cut expenditure. Like, is there any buildings that we can do with that? Honestly, I'm looking at crematoriums right now. I'm thinking we gotta get rid of them. It's a twofold bonus. It's a temporary reduction for spending. They are not necessary at this time. taken care of. 16,000. If we can just get into the green, we're set. 
Like, if I really have to start forcing it towards the green, I will. But I really don't want to have to. I mean, I'm already exactly a heavy, heavy hand here. And I'll have to do a lot of work to repair that all later. The cemeteries are to stay. Good. Okay, crematoriums taken care of. That will uh, force more use onto the cemeteries, which should cause better things to happen there. All right. Most attractive city of Hurt. Low land value. Yeah. Not surprised. Come on, we need to get to the green. If we get to the green, we're safe. Okay. Massive and unnecessary structures that they are must die. What the hell? No, isn't that like a university? No, it's a hospital. Okay. Um, we're almost there. Three thousand seven hundred, and growth continues. We're up to twenty thousand again. Twenty-one thousand about. God. All this just to get the fusion power plant. I destroyed my great city. Yeah, I, I really went overboard with uh, what I did. And it sucks, but it's okay. It is okay. We're healing. The wound is almost healed. If we stop bleeding cash. Oh no. Now we're losing people? Oh jeez. can't afford to lose people. We can't be losing people. Um, that's all commercial, so that's not going to help. All this that is residential needs to die. is not dead yet. I will save it. Shit. Every one of those buildings is really bad. Oh my god, that's green. That's green. The city is saved. The, the city is saved. We're making money. What are we doing on cemetery usage? Good. Keep burying the dead. Wipe this district out if we have to. In fact, attempting to do that. Wipe the district out and let it start afresh. Well, we had a momentary green. 
So I can recover this district up a little bit. I can recover this. Population is going up slowly. Save it. We must save it. Oh, yeah, right. Power. Could quickly become issue. I must dealt with. Alright. Continue the rampant demolition. Still kind of just floating around in the green a bit. Luckily, as you'll notice, this part of the city seems to have held on to its last bit of breath. It looks like it might recover. Why do you have low land value? Like, there is literally no reason for you to have low land value. Doesn't matter. This is all that remains of our once great city. As it festers dying. Not enough electricity. Oops, I've had that part disconnected from the grid, and now we're losing money again. Uh, oh. Various parts of the electrical grid relied on each other. This mass disconnection is bad. Oh, low land value. Whatever will I do? Hang in there. We're growing. We're in the green again. I can pull a win. I can still pull out of this in one piece. Limitary usage is still only a 2%. Yeah, well, go screw yourself. I can't give you more power. Like, why is land value here so terrible? Can I do some budgeting anymore? I don't know. Oh, whatever. I think we've uh, successfully saved the city, though, for now. Uh, I'm going to be allowing this to run for quite some time. Like, I'm probably not even going to be here. I'm just going to let the city run itself for a while. Because uh, that's all I can think to do. And hopefully uh, this district and the others will slowly be renewed. They'll be rebuilt. And the once great capital of this empire shall be restored to its former glory. Thank you everybody for watching. As always, I've been your lovely host, Galvin, signing off.